This is your divine message from your divine team through my divine mouth for the week of January 24th, 2022 through January 30th, 2022. So this message is going to carry us through the last chunk of January in the new year. 2022. I mean, just a month ago, we were in between holidays and New Year's resolutions and, you know, what the heck is the new year going to bring that the last two hasn't? So it is important that we realize we are already 24 days in to this new year. And so much of our divine team, our entourage, our own personal spirit guides, Our angels, yes, each and every one of us, even those who feel they don't deserve them. And our loved ones, please understand, they love being a part of your team. And then there are our ascended masters and beings and galactic uh, galactic light beings and angels and archangels. I mean, really, guys, when we allow ourselves to embrace, explore, and dive into our internet everything changes our entire access changes to all because our network changes before we continue with this week's message i inspire you encourage you inspirado to hit that like button to hit that follow subscribe and share share it on your stuff you know you know there are those people who follow you that you'd love to share this message with but they may not like it coming from your face don't do it let it come from mine all right i thank you for following me i encourage you to go to patreon.com forward slash april roan and join me there is going to be a whole bundle of weekly insights tools a guided meditation that actually divinely goes along with this message okay my beautiful spirit says spirit higher power god universe allah nature it doesn't matter at this point please understand your divine says to remove the titles because titles only separate please remove the titles Titles only separate. And those of you who do intuitive work, right? I know you can't find the exact title for what it is you do. Some of us get stuck in psychic medium. I hate that. Spiritual channel. All of us are. Medium. Well, you know, when you realize you're a spiritual channel, you're going to realize you're talking to the other side anyway. So titles only slow us down and they separate us. So when we can get past that, Spirit says 2022, the year of war, so much of it is about removing titles. Like God is tired of us blaming God for our exploring free will. So here we are, year of war, and Spirit says, but wait a minute, please, dear God. So many of you have been at war within yourselves. So get real, get real quick because it's gonna require your acceptance moving forward. You must rely on your abilities to thrive moving forward. You must rely on your abilities. Like no longer it's about, oh, am I a little psychic? You know, Spirit says, please stop. That's, again, just distracting you. Own it. Be it. Allow it. Do it. Live it. Now get back in the game. Get back in the flow of things. And this week is all about our need to be afraid. Our need to be afraid. And then I wrote a whole channel message from the divine, which goes like this buckle up because it's kind of really clear asking it is given so when we're you know in our brain frustrated talking in circles angry thinking of the posts that we're gonna post that can keep us out of the guilt but slam them with the truth spirit says need 
to be afraid. Just be in that space, own it, because that is where so many of you are. And release, and you do this best by breathing. Breathing into this moment and understand that the ego will force and inspire you to question, kick, resist, exhale, let go, breathe in again. It feels good to breathe, holding that breath because that breath really is your source, your light, your life. It is everything in this moment. Open your mouth, exhale. Without this breath, you are no thing in the present moment of your awareness. Take one last breath in. Hold that breath. Spirit reminded me last week you will catch your breath when you realize one day you will lose it. Open your mouth and exhale. So much clarity, so much truth, so much present moment. The three breaths allow you to process your fear. Therefore, there is no need to be afraid moving forward. Do not be afraid to be where you are, to feel what you feel, to know what you know. Fear distracts even the most ancient of souls. So many of those that came before you are simply teachers of lessons, of fear, and of faith. In the present moment of you, the awareness guides you to the reality of free will and the opportunity to choose whether you react to reality with fear or you react to reality with the power to choose anything else. Okay, this is where I want to thank you for making it to the end this far with me. Join me over at patreon.com forward slash April Roan, where we're going to pick apart this message. We're going to bring the human experience into this, the hybrid where we're expected to know what to do. How do we really do this? And what do we do holding space for our higher self and our human experience. What the heck does all this mean? Well, I'm heading over there now and I'm going to hold space so all of us can learn together. I value you and I honor your bumpy road and I thank you because this is a big year. This is a big transition. It's a big bumpy world and look at you just vibing through it little by little bit by bit as Paul Simon says little bit by little bit